All right, guys, welcome back. Some more of a day's gone. So, about to about to continue on here. Um, hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. Just call me Sal. So, uh, this is where I bring bounty ears. Mm hmm. This is the place. If you have any freaker ears, bring them to me. She seems yeah, like she'll be fun at parties, though. No. Um, Corporal, yeah, you come we, back we missed, we're going to miss a mission. So we had a mission where I accidentally triggered it because I went up there. Um, it looked like we just went to talk to the doctor and he, he wanted to go on a ride, but the, the Colonel didn't want him to. So kind of, that mission just kind of ended there. So it wasn't like anything big, but it was there. Um, now we got an interesting mission here i don't know why i said interesting because well that's it that's as far as i can go how can i help you can't unless you have a dna synthesizer somewhere no but uh there's an auto parts store near fort klamath where Dude, i could you check can't out. get what i need there you how do you think i would learn i actually think i know where you can get one really yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh my God! If you say thank you one more time, I. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to go. Well, with all the mission we've been doing, we should be like, we should be past the lieutenant. At this stage, did so much stuff for these people. And then leveling us up. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's got it. Okay, we're headed out. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms it just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. <laughs> that was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it. You know, I've been in plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges <laughs> and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except beards and bites. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I'm, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. 
their problems. Okay. Hey! hey! Shut it off! Look at our bike. We have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh. Oh my God. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, <laughs> pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? Oh, we came all the way down here. We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. So we're going back to the old part here, right? Eh? We need your help to move that out of the way. What the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help move this or what? Yeah, sure. Oh, he, he took care of him, right? Well, we took care of him. <clears throat> we came through here. There wasn't anything here, did... I'll wait for her. Come on. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. 
Sounds horrible. I seem work. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Oh. Oh, we stopped the like the talking part here. Interesting. Ramming your bike into targets will deal damage and can be effective. While well, moving, press sprint. Okay. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Ooh. And that bike does look nice. She has a little pistol. We have like a Desert Eagle type of weapon. Look at that. That's it. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Oh, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Hmm. Okay. And a nice camping spot we found. When booze was feeling to it, it will craft supplies for us, won't it? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Scared the shit out of me. She's been off for days. Goddamn crows. They're infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. It makes them a pain in my ass. We didn't see them here before. We should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Uh, 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 oh. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Oh, Let's man. go, come on.
So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie Ooh, working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? I mean, someone's here. I believe someone is here. God damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There you go. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Oh, lots of food here. Corn and whatnot. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Oh, hold on, hold on. We'll uh, boost you, right? I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or oh, twice. It's... Okay, once or twice. Leechers, I'll be on all yeah, swarmers. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. Seven minutes. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Well, you also said these... <laughs> Mother fuck you were saying. Yeah. This world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see her point out that. Alert. 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 Do whatever you can to distract them. Got it. I'll signal you when it's clear. Personnel to the maintenance building. Okay, here we go. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Her voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. It's clear. Coming. Deadly forces off the screen. It's clear. Coming. Yeah. We gotta get up those stairs and through the sky bridge. Nine one one. All right. Asshole. We can see you. Keep working. Clear. Coming. Where are these speakers? Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple sh personnel to the maintenance building. We could make something out of this. Something, 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 brother. Deadly force is authorized. Warning.
Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their <laughs> oh. way. Stand down and <laughs> They're definitely on the way. Ari isn't an artificial intelligence after all. I assume she would know. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has Alert. been breached. Alert. The Cloverdale this facility is, is in lockdown. Repeat. Multiple shots have been override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. Warning. You ready? Deadly force yeah, is this time? for use Let me get against first. all trespassers. Hey, this Warning. time? Deadly we go in together. Is authorized. What do you mean, you guys? Like, have you guys not been hearing this shit? Shit! Snipers. Alert! On the roof. Alert! Nine one one has been called. Police are on their way. And you will not be harmed. There's more of them. I see them. Stop them. Alert! Shot. Keep your head down. Alone. Shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. All right. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Warning. Deadly force <laughs> is authorized. Ready? We got over here. Alert. Alert. This here. is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel. It's clear. Same here. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. We're taking this Warning. Photo. Deadly My force old is baby. authorized. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the atrium. Alert. Don't worry. Alert. 911. I got the Tommy called. gun. Police Come on, let's on try the way. door. We'll Stand pop them now. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Oh. Access denied. Didn't do it the first Sarah time. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Alert. Your Alert. security clearance this has been revoked. This is a level four alarm. Please see Multiple an shots IT administrator for security assistance. Security personnel to the maintenance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Warning. Oh, yeah, Deadly force it? is authorized for uh, use well, maybe? against all trespassers. Uh, like, Warning. is there a way to that Deadly rooftop from here? Is authorized. Over here. Yes, so. May we literally open this. Alert. Alert. You, mean you should be able to climb up from there. Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing Stand fire, keep their attention. When they're all gone. looking up, I'm gonna go in from here. I'm gonna take it by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's uh, there's one problem with it. Alert. Alert. What's that? This is a level four the door's alarm. Locked. Remember? Multiple shots have been fired. Oh, shit. Security Come personnel on, to idea. the maintenance building. What? Where is she? What? Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin Alert. codes. From this Alert. station, I can get you a temporary access code. Has been called. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Are on their way. Uh, yeah. Stand down. And you will Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Alert. Yeah. Alert. Right. This is a level four alarm. Multiple okay. shots have been fired. 
Security personnel to the maintenance building. Here, I'm gonna need you Warning. to help me up. Deadly force okay, is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning, deadly force is authorized. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. All right. Hey, Alert. don't take any chances. Alert. 911 has been called. These days, that's all I do. Stand down and you will okay. not be harmed. Go. <laughs> Use or read the code. This is a level four alarm. Jim Moore! I know Those you're in there! Personnel. Answer me, goddammit! It's Sarah Whitaker! I worked here, remember? Deacon Lee, St. John. ID 5429009. Good morning. Deacon Lee, St. John. Welcome to the Oh, this is your first Come on, get him. Please. Disable oh, voice. Damn it, listen to me. Oh, the hell with you. You should have left me at the chance. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Oh, there you go. See? Security personnel. <sighs> Wait here. I'll bring him to you. Yeah, boy. Oh, second mark. Oh, we got a cutscene right away. Hands! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I give up! Get I give up. up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh, God damn it! I said hands! All right. All right. Just... Just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All defending the dead ourselves. people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. But you didn't want that, did you? Uh, we just couldn't take the risk. Oh. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Oh. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, Deke is conflicted out. Oh, and I can't blame her. She killed, he killed like, killed all those innocent people, right? And they tried to kill us too. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. Your I should fault. have seen it when the first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept 
telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay, who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> All right. Deacon St. John's time to save the world now. One at a time. Be sure to check out Mechanics Bike Park. We, uh, we still need uh, man, we still need some missions from them. Hey, uh, hold, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Uh, she just drives away with his bike. Drive. Peace. All right, let's go. Never, I'm never giving up. Power building. Yeah, that's uh, it's gotta be it. Where is the other one here? Why am I not able to roll? Oh, that's all. Okay, we forgot the. Got the mechanics for a second. Where the fuck is this other one then? Right here. Have we, uh. No, I just gotta jimmy that door. Turn off the electrical fences. I'm gonna radio them in. Uh, Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deacon, Deacon 
Is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. <laughs> good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! <laughs> when are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Who's there anyone to talk Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. Why is he going that way? We're not supposed to go the other way. My man. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. <laughs> Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Okay. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. Turning the camera and moving while aiming reduces gun accuracy. Skills can magnivate. Whatever, we're gonna get in trouble right now. Or I wonder if we're gonna land there automatic. Oh, I think we are. It's clear. I hope, look, they took that piece of equipment inside. Are you going to come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. 
Ooh, look at those burn marks. Everything I had is soaking wet. Man got the riz. <laughs> well, I mean, that is his wife, so. Keep warm. I wonder if we're just gonna end up there, if we have to go for a ride. Affected by gravity, I'm sure there's something far, aim high. Attractors lure nearby enemies to... Corey saw. We're in trouble. I think so. What's up? What's up with you? What's over there? St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Climb the tower and radio boozer. She just wants to chill at the top and talk to him? I have a heart to heart conversation with my brother. We are just a long climb in. Oh no, we're almost there, we're almost there. Not too very far. It's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke? 
Zeke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. See how, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? <laughs> yeah, you got it. I guess you figure, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, just want to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Meet Dr. Jimmy. Okay. But we can't like if I had like lied all the way down. I just either did something like Assassin's Creed and Fire Cry and all those games that they had. Where you have to kinda of go up to get these kind of open up the map a little. Anything else? No, oh, I think we're pretty good to be honest. Especially because we still have a little bit of ways to actually get in the damn building. We need to do more of Captain Curry's mission so we can finally fully upgrade this bike, you know? Hey, Deke. That uh, Corporal. Sarge. Oh, see ya, Corporal St. John. See ya, buddy. Deke. Corporal in command. Sarge, good to see you. Oh, big spender. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Corporal St. John, I'll catch you later. From yes, so. Should be officer, captain. We should be like... Be one of the top, top people here. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. Oh. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Let's go. I wonder what this man's gonna have a talk about now. Oops. Give him his usual. This day, as the sun sets on this island. It also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled. Hour after hour. Tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life. Though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Doctor oh, Mendes is the me? only you trained awesome? physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. No, we know somebody. Oh, it's probably as trained as him. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over? 
will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. Yeah, they done fucked up. Have Exit. I think we might just have to go out right here. We'll probably get some kind of call. What I think. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Corporal, the colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. St. John out. Alright, time to head up there. Oh! Um, yeah. Yeah, we found we found one cougar, and I think in the last episode for the first time. All right, Taylor, what the hell are you doing out here? This is it. All right, where? You're mine now. these guys
Oh fuck, I thought he could just come from here. I wonder if that cutscene would have happened if I wasn't, I wasn't stalling too much, you know? Scrapped. All right, let's go inside then. Oh, he snapped. Taylor. He's taking a safe job. How are we doing, Taylor? Ah, you don't say, huh? They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. Please. Don't let them hang me. Is that like drugs? Maybe overdosed? St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. Plants are turned into encouragement kitchen to earn trust and credits. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. fuck is wrong with the colonel then what does he expect the man died gas cans can explode when shot yeah I mean, uh, we can shoot it and it explodes so 
Oh, here we come. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. I don't want to hang. Hi right, guys. Um, yeah, I just returned. I was just a little bit of playing with my little one, so you know, Corporal my bad for that little bit of cut. We there. have a situation. Came into my room. So. With. Okay, sir. What is it one of our for? soldiers has been taken hostage. Sergeant Melinda Foster, in oh, charge of patrolling our eastern border along the 97 corridor. Her squad was ambushed. Two men made it back alive. Sergeant Foster was taken. Melinda Foster. Do you know her? No, sir, I don't. I've marked her last known location on your map. I have full confidence, Corporal, but you will return her safely. You can count on me, sir. Dismissed, Corporal. Oh, is out here like... Go on a mission for Sarah. Let's, um... That's not a problem. We can go get her. Deke! Corporal! Hey! Hey, Sarge. Melinda. Deke! Melinda. Uh, Corporal! Uh, see you, man. What the fuck are you two doing? It's like... Use everything. Oh, wolf meat. Cougar, cougar. Oh, well, thinking he could sneak up on us like this. Who that? Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in. Sir, I'm at that location and the uh, camp appears to be empty. Sergeant Foster's life is in your hands, Corporal. Don't let me down. Nope, sir. I'll find her. I can use these. Don't let me down. Down, down, down. <sighs> Fuel can. Oh, the bike, so we have to. I know where they're going. A militia bike. It's got to be hers. Something's not right here. Enter their base. This is the place it's got to be. And where the hell is everyone?
now. Kill him! Kill him! What do you need? Yeah. Looks like this another day at the office. How are you doing, Serge? How's your day going so far? Oh, Jesus, Corporal. Thank you. It's going great. Just great. Do you need a lift back? You see a militia bike out front? Or did the bastards part it out? No, no, it's still there. Okay, I'm good then. St. John, right? Thank you. I can get back on my own. I need this. Nope. Open the gate already. Hurry to St. John. Oh. Come in. I've got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake Outpost. There you go. Diamond Lake Outpost, I think, yeah. We'll kind of see what what he wants us to do. It's one of Corey's men. Open it up. One of Corey's men. Am I not like one of your guys' men? Like, <laughs> we are. Konnichiwa, Corporal St. John. Hi there, Sergeant. Moving, Sergeant. This is going to come out Here we are. Hello, Sergeant. Yep. Yep. Uh, see, see you, Corporal. Let's go to the kitchen. That's it. I'd see. We still got a long friggin' way. What the hell? Obstacle course. Do you like it that much? Do you want to run it again? And be my guest, princess. Yes, sergeant. Yes, sergeant. Yo, did, did, did he not say come over here to he has a mission for us? Or am I tripping? It says no job available. Uh -huh. I may have just been tripping, bro. Colonel, did you have anything for us? No job, alright. We did your shit. Let's go this way. Let's pump up. 
fix up our bike here. Hey, Deke. That corporal. Sarge. See you, Corporal St. John. See you, buddy. Deke. Corporal in command. Hey, Sarge. How's life? Okay, yeah. Every little bit helps, yeah? <laughs> And doing it. Ain't that right, buddy? Huh? Ah, okay. See ya. Yeah, no, he doesn't have any mission. Hey, Corporal. Uh, something happened there. Drive to the location. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this one off here, guys. And uh, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.